Broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching Poly Playbook. Welcome to this special edition of Poly Playbook. Today, we're getting you prepared for a historic weekend at Cal Poly. I'm Lisa Diaz. We're talking NCAA Baseball Regionals, hosted by the 2014 Big West champions, the Cal Poly Mustangs. We'll take you to the Matador Diamond to see the moment when Cal Poly won its first conference title. Hear from this year's Coach of the Year, and we'll break down all three teams coming our way. This is the first time Cal Poly is hosting the NCAA Regionals because this is the first time the team won the Big West. The historic moment came after the final out of a sweep against Cal State Northridge. Let's take a look. The team set a school record with 45 wins on the season. You see one of them there, including a 12-game win streak. The Mustangs ended the regular season as the fifth best team in the country, according to USA Today, the ESPN Coaches Poll, and the National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association. In addition to the national attention, Cal Poly dominated in conference honors. Shortstop Mark Mathias is the Big West Field Player of the Year. Chris Hu is the Big West Defensive Player of the Year and Coach Larry Lee is Coach of the Year. Earlier this season, during the win streak, we caught up with Larry to find out how deep his poly roots run. One, six, four, three. With baseball, you really have to know the game within the game. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's strategy when you're, you're playing. It's a grind. You play a lot of games in a short period of time. For Cal Poly head coach Larry Lee, there is no sport quite like baseball and no place quite like home. The Mustangs are taking the field as one of the best Division I teams in the country, the same field Coach Lee ran across growing up with his siblings. As a kid, Cal Poly was Coach Lee's backyard. It's probably two security uh, uh, people on campus, and they probably knew the back of, of my uh, my jacket, a lot, you know, a lot better than uh, anything else. And Coach Lee grew up admiring his father, who coached the Mustangs in baseball, oh, basketball, football, and boxing. Oh, he touched a lot of people, not only in the community, but a lot of the, his, his athletes that he coached at Cal Poly. Coach Lee began his own coaching career at nearby Cuesta College, where he in turn became a father figure to his players and assistant coaches. My foundation is wouldn't be what it is today if it wasn't for uh, Coach Larry Lee. Before coming to Cal Poly in 2002, Coach Lee turned the Cuesta program around and led the Cougars to nine conference titles and four community college Final Four appearances. Coach Lee could take what he's done or who he is as a coach. You could drop him anywhere in the country and he would have success. But still here in San Luis Obispo, Lee is coaching the number one team in the country, according to the Collegiate Baseball newspaper poll, and the Mustangs are on an 11 game winning streak. We've had a lot of success this year, um, but you know, uh, you know, our next loss, which is inevitable, it, it's gonna sting and it's gonna stay with you. But the good thing about baseball is you, you, you know, you're not waiting a week to play your next game. But with how deep his poly roots run, this isn't just a game, it's home. Now I know the Mustangs have lost just a few more games since then, but the good thing is it was only a few and the regional is right here this weekend. And guess what? Cal Poly is the number one seed. Now we have four poly playbook analysts in studio to break down this weekend's matchups. Denzel, take it away. All right, thanks, Lisa. We are here on the desk with our official bracketologist here. We've got Mr. Rafael Salinas, Tom Nork, and Allison Edmonds here. I'm Denzel Quarterman. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this side of the bracket. We've got Cal Poly versus Sac State, Arizona State versus Pepperdine. But let's start with the Cal Poly matchup. Sac State, Tom, non-conference team, but they are one of our rivals. Definitely an offensive-minded team. Tell us about this matchup here. Well, certainly, Sac State is going to be bringing the lumber to San Luis Obispo. They have 34 home runs to Cal Poly's 20. And, uh, you know, 
another thing to think about is they've been really weak in away games, 11 and 12 this season. And although San Luis Obispo is technically a neutral site for this for this game, it's going to be anything but a neutral site at Tony Baggett Stadium on Friday. All right. Now, an offensive-minded team, uh, we've got some one guy that's definitely killing it uh, in the batter's box, Rise Hoskins, first baseman, um, junior. He's got a lot of talent. He's going to be coming back next year, but what is he going to bring to the stage this year? Well, he knocked out 12 home runs this year, two in the WAC tournament, and uh, he's, he's really just carrying the team. Another anchor uh, of their lineup is Chris Lewis, their DH. He got the WAC tournament MVP, and he hit 500, seven RBIs. Mm -hmm. Look for him to be making solid contact and really making an impact against Cal Poly. All right. Now let's take a look at the other side there. We've got Pepperdine versus Arizona State. Pepperdine. Allison, you've got them. West Coast Conference uh, team there, 38-16. and 16. Tell us what they're going to bring to the stage here. You know, they're a very pitching-oriented team. They're really strong pitching. Um, they won the West Coast Conference with a record of 18-9. and nine. Um, They have some really strong pitchers. Eric Brown is one of those. He's up for the Golden Spike Award this year. Left-hander, 2.24 ERA, 11 wins. Super, super strong on the mound, so... Yes, you mentioned super strong on the mound, but one thing that we're not mentioning is that he's a lights-out hitter as well, hitting about 320, 12 home runs, 45 RBIs. Tell, tell us what we're going to see in the batter's box from him as well. You know, when he's not on the mound, he, is, he does play center field, bats clean up, so that's definitely for any team. A clean-up hitter is definitely frightening for the other side. So to see him both on the mound and in the batter's box that strong, he's definitely someone to look out for this weekend. All right. Now you say someone to look out for. That should be Arizona State for Pepperdine there. Uh, they were third in the Pac-12, so big team there. Went two and three versus number three ranked Oregon. Um, Rafael, tell us a little bit about this matchup, what Pepper, or excuse me, Arizona State is going to bring here. Arizona State's going to bring a winning attitude and a team that definitely knows what it takes to advance in the NCAA tournament. They've got 14 NCAA tournament appearances since 2000. So they're going to do it behind their two big guys, Ryan Kellogg and Brett Liley, two starting pitchers, one 6'5", the other 6'4", and both of them were drafted out of high school. So I think that's what their biggest strength is in their pitching. But this is really a complete team, so it's definitely going to pose some problems for Pepperdine, and we'll see moving forward what ends up happening. All right, so... Assuming we all want Cal Poly to win at the top there. Who do you have, Allison, starting with you, Pepperdine versus Arizona? Let's go. Who do you got? Um, I think that Pepperdine actually has a pretty good chance against Arizona. So. All right. And Tom? You know, I love, love the Sun Devils. I always have. Uh, I've just kind of always been against the Zona Zoo. So look for, <laughs> okay. look for the Sun Devils to take it on Friday. And last but not least, sir? I'm taking ASU behind Kellogg. All right, well, it looks like we got Cal Poly versus Arizona State. That's going to do it for us here on the desk. But stay tuned for Poly Playbook next week, and we'll have some exciting news. Hopefully Cal Poly will pull through. Uh, but we'll send it back over to you. Lisa, thanks. Thank you, Denzel. Yes, looking forward to next week's Poly Playbook. But first, let's continue with our in-depth preview. Pitching was lights out this year. Cal Poly was number four in strikeouts per inning, number eight in shutouts, and 30th in ERA. Casey Bloomquist led the pitching staff with 12 wins and a 1.60 ERA. We spent a day with Casey learning the power and passion behind the strikes. Well, my nerves are going a little bit and I have a little, little anxiety, but I try to uh, kind of relax myself and control my breathing during the national anthem. Starting 13 games on the mound this season, sophomore pitcher Casey Bloomquist has won 12 of them for the Mustangs. Just once you go out there, it just feels natural. It's like it's meant to be, and it's just something that I thrive under, and I, I love it. The weight of his preparation is carried long before he hits the field. You no, know, it's just uh, putting yourself through torture and just not letting anyone know about it, really. But the baseball diamond is not the only field Cal Poly is preparing him for. Uh, it's a good, good feeling being a farmer because you know you're helping society. And uh, you know when it comes down to life, like you can have baseball and school and everything, but what it really comes down to is helping others and uh, feeding families is definitely a good feeling. And Bloomquist feels most like himself when he is in the outdoors, hunting, fishing, and of course, 
out and as soon as I walk on the field, it's like, oh, this is my, this is my separation from the class, from the weight room, from any sort of stress that I have going on in my life. This is the hour, two hour, three hours I can get away from all that stuff and my mind can just be at rest. Bluepuss has a passion for baseball that is 24 seven. About it. it truly is a love for the game and uh, there's a little joke all the, all the baseball guys have, but, like we're, we're married to the game. Like half our team has girlfriends and half of us just have baseball. So it's, it's something that keeps us occupied and it's pretty much our girlfriend. Casey will take the mound for the second game of the weekend. The games will be at 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Friday through Sunday at Baggett Stadium. Tickets are still available at the ticket office. And that wraps, wraps up our special baseball edition of Poly Playbook. You can watch this show and get all of your Mustang sports updates at mustangnews.net. You can also watch our weekly 30-minute broadcast on Charter Channel 19, Campus Channel 2, and UHTV Channel 7. From the Poly Playbook team and all of us here in Studio 300, have a great weekend.